Hello again ladies and gentlemen. This time we have a report from the Powys County Times, dated April 8, 2010. The headline says in bold capitals. Unexplained sheep attacks caused by aliens and UFOs, claim experts. And the story says, and I quote, Bizarre animal deaths in Powys are being blamed on visitors from outer space, UFO experts have claimed. Furious farmers from Montgomeryshire and Radnorshire have recently been waking up to find their animals dead after seemingly being experimented on. Over the past 12 years there have been many reports of animal deaths in Powys, and in 2001 UFO hunters established the Animal Pathology Field Unit, a non-profit making organization committed to carrying out research into the animal mutilation mystery. The team is linking the mutilations, including the removal of sheep brains and eyes, to the increased sightings of mysterious red and orange spheres in the sky. Last weekend the 15-strong unit staged a nighttime stakeout in the Radnorshire forest, and witnessed a scene described by a local expert as something that looked more like a Star Wars battle. 53-year-old Phil Hoyle, of Shrewsbury, has spent nine years probing the riddle of livestock found killed in Powys, and in 2001, co-founded the Animal Pathology Unit. He says, Things kicked off really early and just after 10 p.m., my colleague spotted a bright burnt red light hanging over an isolated ravine, near a highly forested area known as New Radnor, near the Radnorshire Forest, he said when we asked about the stakeout. At first, we thought the light was from an isolated farmhouse, or dwelling, but it soon became clear this light was hovering. It also had company, because an identical red sphere appeared to the bottom right of the first light about a quarter of a mile away. The lights kept changing shape and emitting beams of light and small spheres that covered large areas of distance in a blink of an eye. At times the spheres would morph into different shapes firing beams to the ground, and discharging small spheres that darted backwards and forwards across the valley floor as though they were looking for something. During the sighting, beams of light would be fired out of the forest as the small spheres traveled across open fields. We could not discern where these beams were coming from, or who, or what might have generated them, but for a short while it looked more like a Star Wars battle by two opposing forces. At one point in the sighting, the two red spheres disappeared from the valley below, only to reappear to our right, just behind a small hill where we were camped. Then, suddenly, an intense narrow white beam passed down the hill just behind us, and at times, we thought the red spheres not only knew that we were there, but they were watching us. These spheres are clearly not Chinese lanterns, and do not conform to any known conventional aircraft, or meteorological manifestation. Phil Hoyle says that the UFOs like to roam a specific 50-mile corridor between Shrewsbury and Powys, but says that Dartmoor, and the Forest of Dean in Gloucestershire are also hunting grounds. Sheep have been found with a neat hole in their brains, and other internal organs removed. End quote. What an incredible report that is ladies and gentlemen. We have actually heard a few stories from those areas, and I think that it does warrant further investigation. But at this time, that is all we have for now. Once again, if you have seen anything like this, then please let us know. At the very least we can take your report, and with your permission, make a video like this, or, if the phenomena is current, and occurring regularly in your area, we will more than likely come out and do an investigation. If you have anything similar to report then send any emails to the usual address, which is, anomalyresearchersuk, 
at protonmail.com. Thank you for listening. Goodbye, until the next time.